All right, just a quick video on this 2009 4L60E. I uh, just wanted to go through the changes that I saw for the 2009 model year. And the first one, and the big one, is uh, the external switch has been eliminated, and now they have this internal mode switch for the 4L60E. And of course, when you have that change, you of course have uh, the uh, detent roller is different also. So you got an internal mode switch. Uh, the change to the internal harness has now the attachment for the internal mode switch. And also, they eliminated the 3 2 downshift solenoid, valve, and spring from the valve body. So this is the internal harness for the 2009 mode switch, uh, input speed sensor, shift solenoids, EPC. All right, let's take a look at the valve body. The 3 2 downshift solenoid has been eliminated as well as the whole valve train. It has been machine closed. And one other change to this is the manifold switch also has been eliminated from this valve body. To 2009. All right, and a couple other quick uh, things. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this. This is the new style separator plate. It has screens in it instead of the screens that pop in. It's a bonded gasket, and there's screens here and here. And I'm not sure if uh, anybody's seen this one yet, but the bell housing bolts. The Torx Plus, the 50 Torx Plus that you, that you use to get the bell housing bolts out of the 4L60Es. They don't make those particular bolts anymore. They make new style bolts and it comes with a new bit. This is the, this is the new style bolt here. I don't know if you can see the, the head of it. That's what it looks like. And this is the bit. They call it they call it a more Torx bit. So this is the this is the new style bit uh, for those bolts. So if you order if you have the regular one, like you do and say you know three 4L60E and a couple of the bolts you had to change, and you order them, you're gonna get these. That already happened to me. So in turn, I had to buy the bit. So that's about it. Just wanted to go through some uh, running changes for the 4L60E and of course none of this will retrofit to previous models. I think that this rod may work. I think the only one that might work is this rod might be the same length except it has this flat here. Uh, but other than that, uh, will not retro back. And uh, that's about it, guys. Just wanted to go over that and have a great day.